Hi, I'm Cooper Glover, 1972, back with another video, part 41. Um, these last few videos have been kind of short. Um, I've been, I, I, I've, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to maybe do that on purpose so you can find things easier. Um, I'll repeat again that the, the hour-long one had Tarantino, Sergio Leone, Clint Eastwood, and Oliver Stone. Oliver Stone, I don't think it was in the description. It was cut off. Uh, I probably should have cut that that video up into more uh, smaller pieces. Um, also, it should have been less than 40 minutes or 30 minutes. And, and basically now, I, I'm thinking that's the way to go. Um, and maybe even less. I mean, the video I did before this one, part 40, um, I think it was even less than 15 minutes long so I don't think this is this video will be too long um, maybe at the most maybe 20 minutes or 25 minutes maybe even less than that maybe 15 um, so what we have for this video we have because I talked about Star Wars in a previous video uh, I wanted to talk about uh, George Lucas's first feature THX 1138 and I want to uh, continue uh, to also um, touch upon uh, two two um, um, sets of movies, um, w one uh, called 300 um, and uh, the, the sequel called 300 Rise of an Empire, followed by uh, the other sword and sandal movie called Troy. And as I said before in, in previous videos, I, I, I Oliver Stone one about Alexander, and um, and the one about Rome. Uh, that um, even if the those particular films or TV shows are bad as far as those those subjects subjects go, um, I still enjoy them because I enjoy that time period and learning stuff from that time period and and just um, it's, it's an interesting time period to to uh, look at. But, but let's get to T George Lucas's first feature, THX 1138. Um, it's, a society, it's about a society where in the future where people uh, consume things but they don't really feel anything. They take medications to dull their feelings. Everybody's uh, head is shaved. Everybody's like a number. That's why he's called Robert Duvall's character is called THX 1138. Um, the law enforcement are robots. Um, I think it's a pretty good film on a very low budget. You know, they use things like, um, uh, well, I don't think it's a real miniature baby, but they put like miniature fetuses in, 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 uh, jars, you know, with formal, formaldehyde. I don't, I, I'm not quite sure what formaldehyde is, but I think it's a, it's a liquid that preserves, um, objects, um, and, uh, like, th that's a particular, um, he shot this on a really low budget, and he was really inventive, I think. He used the BART system in San Francisco, which was a new, um, transportation, public transportation system at the time period, and, um, used that to look futuristic at the time, because this came out in 19, 1970... Uh, 1970, 1970. Um, of course, it's it's not as regarded as highly as the Star Wars movies. Um, it, George Lucas said it's more like a documentary science fiction film. Um, the uh, THX one three one one three eight. He works at like a factory that makes robots. Um, Um, George Lucas mentioned in, in, in um, on some of uh, maybe it's in Star Wars. Uh, oh yeah, Star Wars commentaries. He said that uh, he, he, he before he made Star Wars, he he his, he, uh, he had thought originally of making documentaries, and and this is sort of a documentary science fiction film. Also, you see um, rooms where you see old computers, you know, like the big uh, real. Um, computers with the big f files, you know, the huge circular files, you know, 
and he, and you go through uh, you go through hallways or aisles rather not hallways aisles and it's just loaded with computers and even though it might look archaic by today's standards, I, I think it, I think it's a pretty impressive movie. Um, it also features a commentary by co-writer, director George Lucas, co-writer, sound designer Walter Murch. I, I've met Walter Murch when he was promoting Cold Mountain at Tribeca, the film festival. Um, and uh, when when I when we get to the Cold Mountain DVD. It's a film I wasn't too wild about. I didn't really like it that that much at all. But behind the scenes is pretty fascinating. And he had a book that he, he wrote in conjunction with the release of, of Cold Mountain called Behind the Scene, S-E-E-N. And uh, he talks about how they edited the film on Final Cut Pro, which is, uh, they, they shot it on, I mean that shot. They edited it on Power Max, I believe. You know, no, they, they're no longer used. They, I think the new Macs have Intel chips, but at the time they were using Power Macs. Um, but anyways, in this particular this particular um, movie, uh, it's one of those icons you can press while you're watching the film. And Walter Murch will explain how he did a certain sound effect or sound design while you're watching the movie. Now, it'll stop the movie He'll explain, and they'll go back to the movie. Um, so, and, and that is the Theater of Noise Experience, isolated music and sound effects track with master sessions, branching video segments showcasing Merch's pioneering work. Two non, and then this, too, has two new documentaries, A Legacy of Filmmakers, The Early Years of American Zotrope, An Artifact from the Future of the Making of two, THX 1138. It's got... The original short film that this movie is based on called Electronic Labyrinth, THX 1138-4EB, which is Lucas's original student film. Vintage production featurette bald. It, it, you know, that's like, um, well, like one of the characters, the woman that, that Duvall's character is in love with, she had to shave her head for the film. Original and re-release trailers. So, there's... There's Lucas right there in Duvall, and the robot policeman. Also, the first mention of the word Wookie. Vincent Camby says, extraordinary, visually hypnotic. So... I think there's a picture behind here. Yeah, picture of Robert Duvall. And the documentary about American Zotrope is pretty cool too. So, so that's THX one one three eight. Um, so next up, we have some sword and sandal movies. First off, we have the three hundred movies. Here's the first three hundred. Uh, additional scenes of the traitorous hun hunchback and never before seen giant warriors. Frank Miller's vision realized on film. Frank Miller is a comic book artist who also de de um, created Sin City. He also um, helped with the pioneering, the pioneering the design of Batman Begins and Dark Knight. 300 Spartans, Fact or Fiction, The Shocking Life of a Spartan Unrevealed. Who were the Spartans? How the actors built their characters based on Spartan and customs. Webisodes, go on set with the cast and crew. Commentary by director Zack Snyder and more. Oh, it says Zack Snyder. I, I have um, Watchmen. I might get that 
in a second um, to to look at because of the fact that we're we're uh, looking at a Zack Snyder movie. Um, Pete Pete Hammond of Maxim says a spectacular visual feast that is is as inventive and groundbreaking as the first Matrix. So it's, it's about the 300 Spartans of Greece, uh, and uh, they're fighting the uh, uh, Persians, the ancient battle of Thermopylae, and uh, King Leonidas, played by Gerard Butler, fight Xerxes, by, who was played by Rodrigo Santoro, and his massive Persian army. Um, and this was done mostly with green screens. And uh, very impressive movie. Pretty violent. If you don't like violent movies, I'm not... But, it, I mean, if you like pretty violent movies, you might like it. But it, it shows, like, what a society at that time period was like. As I said before in the Rome um, video, life at that, that time period in ancient Greece and ancient Rome was much, much, much harder lifestyle than it is today. You know, um, you didn't have anesthesia and you didn't have modern medicine. Oh, and, and this one, this this is, um, I picked this up. I don't know. Why? Well, I don't know. The design of it. I, I like the artwork. It's also the same movie, 300. Um, it comes with... Oops. Almost almost dropped there. Um, let's see. It comes with this book. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, it is a book, I guess. But it comes with a DVD. Two DVDs. In this booklet. I'm, I'm not going to go through every single photo here. I'll just, you know, just show a few. There, there's Xerxes right there of Persia. Let me see if I can get one of Leonidas. Yeah. Um, Leonidas right there. Maybe I can get one of him in battle. I'll just show these two photo, uh, pictures here. But basically, the, the Spartans were outnumbered, but it's their heroic um, sacrifice that, that makes their... their uh, Purpose work uh, valid. And it comes with this lenticular piece of glass. Uh, I don't know if it's working here on the screen for you. So it's got that. And then it's got these, I guess they're lithographs. Line from the film. So that's uh, my box set of 300.
Then I, when the sequel came out, I, it was on Blu-ray. I bought the Blu-ray. I've shown this before on YouTube. I don't know if I got into too much detail about it, but it's got special features, amped up extras, intensify the power of 300 Rise of an Empire, discover how the historic battles of 300 and 300 Rise of an Empire converged to create three days in hell, bringing the war machine to the water and taking the battle to sea, meet the military geniuses and vengeful queens who changed history and re real leaders and legends and women warriors, witness the physical, mental, and performance challenges of becoming a warrior and much more. So this is the continuation. Um, Themistocles, Greek general. Um, Xerxes makes his appearance, reappearance from Persia. And uh, she, she's in... He's also being consulted, consulting Artemisia, and I believe she's played by Eva Green, who was in, um, what's that movie? Um, the Dreamers by Bertolucci. And uh, she's also been in the James Bond movie. Which one was it? It was a Daniel Craig one. Uh, maybe it was Spectre. No, no, maybe it was Skyfall. I can't remember. If you if you remember which Daniel Craig she was in, just put it down there. So, yeah, I um, yeah, it's a DVD and a Blu-ray and a I guess a di uh, digital version you can get as well. This was enjoyable. I guess it's more you know shooting behind green screens. Before before I go to Troy, I'm going to get the other Zack Snyder directed movie. He'll be right back. Okay, back with the other Zack Snyder movie I own. <clears throat> um, I've heard that I think other uh, editions of this movie have more stuff on them, more more has special features. Maybe the Blu-ray. Uh, I just have the DVD. It's just the movie itself. Oh, uh, that's Watchmen. Um, I enjoy this movie. I, I think it's a fun movie to watch. Um, it's based on a graphic novel, and um, it takes place, um, I think, the early 80s, maybe, or late 70s, early 80s, I believe. And it's like alternate reality, because in this particular movie, Richard Nixon has 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 become has has been is still president and he's he's in his third term as president and uh, I think the Vietnam War is still going on and um, something happens in the movie something bad really terrible happens in the movie to a part of the to, to a certain part of the world but because that bad thing happens it brings about um, a much better outcome. So, and, and the characters are very interesting, and, and uh, it's it's a violent movie, but it's a well, I don't know. I, I shouldn't say I don't care if it's violent or non-violent. I, I what I care about is it's a good story, you know. If it's a good acting, if it's if it's done well, that that's what I care about. I um. I just, you know, some of some people just don't like violent movies, but but, you know, this is this is a fairly violent, but but very good and very visually, uh, uh, visual visually um, um, exhilarating experience, you know. So, anyways, uh, you know, it's just about these superheroes, and. Um, um, what about on my, oh, somebody's killing superheroes and, uh, they have, one of their, one of their group is murdered, the guy they called the comedian and, um, uh, 
but and, and, this, and it says here, but if our superheroes are gone, who will save us? So um, it's just how these superheroes are, are trying to manage in today's, in, in, well, not today, but in, in that society and, and trying to um, find out who killed the comedian and, um, you know, just um, make this world a better place. I guess that's the best way to put it. But it's an enjoyable movie. And last off, another sword on sandal. I enjoyed this movie a lot. And um, like like uh, three hundred, it, it has good performances. Uh, unlike Alexander, which is his ham, hammy performances. This is Troy with uh, Brad Pitt, Eric Bana, and Orlando Bloom. It also has um, Diane Kruger. Brian Cox, uh, Sean Bean, Brendan Gleeson, Peter O'Toole. It's got music by James Horner. Um, screenplay by David Benioff. Produced by Wolfgang Peterson, who did who directed um, Das Boot. Um, oh, and it's also directed by him. Yes. So, and the bonus materials is. In the Thick of the Battle analyzes the film's thrilling action sequences from ruins to reality, explores the history behind the production design. Troy and Effects Odyssey reveals their secrets behind the miraculous special effects. And then it has the Gallery of the Gods, three, 3D animated guide to Greek myths and a theatrical trailer. So the Gallery of the Gods, it's um, you use a remote control and you find out what certain gods uh, bestowed upon human beings. Um, anyways, um, and it's kind of, it, and it's interesting. And this is about uh, the Trojans who bring the Trojan horse into, uh, what, what city is this called? Uh, wait a minute, it's Tro, wait, wait a minute. Um, Trying to remember which side is which. Oh wait, the Trojans are are behind, and uh, uh, Brad Pitt and Agamemnon are. Brad Pitt is um, Achilles, uh, and Orlando Bloom is Paris. Uh, I think he's Paris, Orlando Bloom. But um, Achilles and his followers, they, they bring in the Trojan horse of Detroit to, to give a sneak attack. You know, the old, you know, they, they hide the soldiers in the horse and they give it as a gift to the Trojans. And um, fighting ensues after they get inside the city of Troy. Um, and there's great action in this movie. Um, Um, again, violent, but um, I think it fits uh, um, the story. And um, I mean, uh, to, at that time period in, in history, I mean, it was a very violent time, and that was just the way things went, you know. Um, so in, in this film, you'll find out why. Your Achilles heel is called your Achilles heel. It's like a weak spot, you know. And uh, Achilles is played by Brad Pitt. So that wraps the video up. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I, I recorded four videos tonight. Um, I'm going to probably put those on YouTube on uh, tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, and... Um, I'll deliberate whether I'll probably do some more videos tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I guess I'm trying to plow through this. I, I probably should, you know, take it. Well, I, I mean, like, um, Black Sunday's on movie for another like nine days or eight days or something. I'm going to watch it, but I just, um, I'm also trying to get through this collection. Um, and um, anyways, I'm I'm babbling on. Um, if you if you want to 
speaking of Rome and, and Troy and 300, if you want to look at another um, movie that touches upon the ancient uh, Roman and Greek world, um, ch check out my Tarantino, Eastwood, Leone, and Oliver Stone video. Because if, if you want to fast forward to, to the end of the video, um, you'll see, uh, I think it's the last movie I show of Oliver Stone's and who's the last director I show in that video. I think, um, I think it's Alexander is the last one I show. And, um, anyways, um, or is it not? I'm not sure. No, I think it is. I think it's the last one I show. Um, I don't think it's world trade center. I think world trade center comes before that, but, um, I show two different versions of, 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 uh, Alexander which is a film I thought I found to be filled with hammy acting, but, but still a enjoyable watch. So uh, take, take a look at that if you want. And, and I'm sorry that I made that video too long. I should have cut that up more. Anyways, um, we'll see you soon. And thanks for watching.